South America 66 million years ago, a Carnotaurus comes here. It comes here to rest. Winter is coming, and it needs a good spot to hibernate. There is lots of flat grass here, but with a spot as good as this, it's quickly to get challenged. Another Carnotaurus comes here. It's a male one, and it wants this territory for itself. There's no sharing, and this female Carnotaurus is ready to battle. First, they show off their horns, but if that isn't enough, it quickly ends up into a headbutt battle. They get ready and charge. This fight is dangerous. Some are going to fight till the death because if they don't get a good spot to hibernate in the winter, they're most likely dead. Neither is willing to give up just yet. One of them is determined to win. The male pushes the female, and the female loses. This is a male's territory now, and it can hibernate safely for the winter. In the desert, a baryonyx is here. It's the dry season, and what used to be a lush forest with water is now a dry desert. This baryonyx needs to find water quick. It needs water to survive, to hunt, keep its skin moist, and stay healthy. It finally finds some, but it's down a hill, and it's going to have to make quite a journey to get there. But he's going to make the journey to the water. The hill is steep, and it's going to be dangerous to try and make the journey. He slips. The hill is far down, and he's going to fall far down. But luckily, he gets a soft landing in the water he was looking for. And he finally gets to drink out of his water and hunt in the water. This water is a lifesaver for this baryonyx. In the dry, vast wilderness of Argentina, finding water can be a lifesaver, but quickly it becomes a life ender. This Argentinosaurus found water and got in it, but the mud got him stuck. And this mud trap is hard to get out of, even for one of the biggest dinosaurs of all time. It's hard to get out, and soon he begins sinking. It's a really sad way to go. He thought he found safe water, but now he's gone. Soon there's not a trace of him left. In the Gobi Desert, there's a hill here. A hill like this is really rare, and it appears kind of strange. But a Velociraptor is curious and is exploring this area. But one wrong step can kill. Despite how dangerous it is, a hunter comes here. Tarbosaurus. It comes here because Many animals die here, like this Velociraptor, and it can scavenge off those. It's a risky way down, but it's a worth it way down for a free meal. The dirt is crumbling, therefore, one wrong step, it can slip and fall to its death.
It's halfway down, but it slips. Luckily, it catches itself. But distracted looking at its meal, it slips even more and falls down. This Carvasaurus is extremely lucky. And it gets its meal it earned. And it goes on its way. It will stay in this territory since it's an amazing spot to eat. On the prehistoric grassland, ravines are here. Millions upon millions of years ago, a uh, ocean used to be here. But some animals come here despite the ravines, a family of Inguanodon. It's still a rich grassland, so they come here to eat. But with the ravine here, it's also an amazing spot for an apex predator to hunt. Utah Raptor, the biggest dromaeosaurid in the world. And it's hunting this family of Inguanodon. It gets closer and closer and jumps, knocking off the Inguanodon family into the ravine. It's a very easy and effective way to hunt. The Utah Raptor goes down in the ravine and starts eating its food that it won. While the Utah Raptor is distracted eating its meal, a rock falls, a rock slide is happening. Making your kill with nature comes with a risk, because nature kills. In the grasslands of North America, a triceratops roams. It's the perfect big amount of prey for this Tyrannosaurus rex. It's the third biggest dinosaur and has a bite force as strong as an alligator. This is the most dangerous hunter on this planet. This triceratops is in grave danger, or is it? Its horns protect it, and it can kill with one blow. But this T-Rex has to rely on the element of surprise. The triceratops is able to get out of the T-Rex's grasp, but not for long. The T-Rex gets back up. It's a fight of two titans. The T-Rex bites onto one of the Triceratops' horns. But the Triceratops pierces the T-Rex and it wins this battle. Most of the times it's actually the herbivore that wins. In North America, a ginormous dinosaur runs. A ginormous herbivore. It's a Patasaurus. It's in the sauropod family, some of the biggest dinosaurs. And it comes here to eat. It's a herbivore, not a carnivore. It has its giant size to protect it from prey. And it has teeth to eat. Barely any carnivores would threaten this titan. But this juvenile theropod is curious. And without thinking, it charges at this apatosaurus. It uses its tail as a whip. By this time, this theropod has second-guessed itself, and this apatosaurus hasn't noticed it yet. But the theropod was about to turn away when it got noticed. The apatosaurus isn't letting this one slide. It does lift up its two front legs as a threaten, but this theropod is stunned in fear. And this Apatosaurus takes that as a threat and crushes this Baryonyx with all of its 15 ton body weight. In a tundra, a Dreadnoughtus comes here. It comes here to eat all of the lush green plants that came here from the melted snow. Its home has died with no grass. This Dreadnoughtus is really old. It's 107, one of the oldest Dreadnoughtus in the world. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and the Dreadnoughtus collapses, and it slowly dies. This trip will be its last.
Later that day, a curious carnivore comes here, and it eats its tail. Then another one comes. Then another one. This dreadnoughtus fed lots of animals and saved lots of lives. And these dinosaurs sink its teeth into this dreadnoughtus. But little did any of these dinosaurs know something big was coming. Something that would change history and evolution. It caused the end of this world. A ginormous asteroid ready to hit Earth. The impact sends a shockwave flying any dinosaur that is still alive. The world has changed lots with new animals and new creatures. But this world is somewhat better than the past. And dinosaurs are still around, even today. Dinosaurs are related to birds. No matter how strange that might seem at first, they are actually quite alike to dinosaurs. They have scaly feet and have feathers and have reptilian eyes. And after dinosaurs went extinct, Mammals took over. Some were big and some were small. And in this series, I hope you did sink your teeth into these fascinating prehistoric creatures.